Hello, in this video you'll hear a set of audio modeling SWAM solo string instruments in MIDI mockups of classical music string quartets by Mozart, Schubert, Brahms and Ravel. I'll discuss the audio rendering results and my findings with this latest version that was released in April 2024. The audio modeling Swamp product range includes woodwinds, brass and string instruments. The virtual instrument design is based on physical modeling with extensive real-time MIDI control potential. When the version 3 Swamp engine was released in 2021, I made this video focusing on Akai AWI playing. A lot has happened since then and with version 373 that came out in April 2024, it's time for a fresh video that demonstrates the latest developments in timbre and real-time control. I decided to focus on the classical music string quartet sound and to present excerpts from famous quartets by Mozart, Schubert, Brahms and Ravel. You'll learn about my MIDI recording, editing and audio rendering process. Please subscribe to the channel. I do welcome support through a PayPal donation or by becoming a patron. Let's consider the MIDI mockup project in more detail. It was created in Cubase 12 on Windows PC. I used a quartet of Swamp solo strings with different presets for Violin 1 and 2. Notice that for each instrument I used two instances labeled AV and Keyboard. This has to do with my set of MIDI input devices. I play the Archai AWI for real-time control of melodic and expressive phrases. Alternatively, I use a combination of Arturia Keylab and iPad with Touch OSC MIDI controller. I find the keyboard slider response poor and therefore created my set of touch screen buttons, faders and XY pads. I may play the keyboard real-time or use Cubase step input for ostinato rhythmical phrases. I fine-tuned the SWAM sound parameter settings, stored these as a preset and implemented the MIDI mapping table with a total set of 34 controllers. The Akai AWI has a limited set of controllers and I find the technology quite outdated as I've stated before. But I've invested significant time practicing this instrument and its alternate fingering options. Here's my modified AWI setup for this string quarter project. Notice that the keys determine pitch only. It is the mouthpiece that determines both expression, thus dynamics, plus note on, note off. I'll come back to this aspect later. On the lower side there is the glide plate, which I use to control vibrato, plus the set of two pressure plates for the right hand thumb. In standard setup this is meant for pitch bend. Since it is the only input element centered around value 64, I use it to control swarm bow pressure which has initial value 64. This is a serious limitation when using AWI for swarm instruments. Finally, I set the two side switches for pizzicato and tremolo playing technique selection. I'll discuss MIDI region editing later. Let me spend a few words on the audio rendering process before listening to the string quartet examples. The mixer shows the eight instrument channels with the pair of instances for each instrument. These are grouped into high and low strings. The string sound was slightly altered with a dynamic EQ for each group. Group effect sends go to the Fab Filter Delay and the Liquid Sonics Reverb plugin. On the stereo out there is a static EQ, minimal compression and loudness control with a limiter. Time now for the audio demos. I picked a set of well-known string quartets by famous composers, written between 1785 and 1903, spanning a time period of 150 years. You'll hear excerpts from these quartets demonstrating the swarm instrument potential and performance. We start with the opening movement Adagio Allegro from the Mozart Dissonanzen Quartet, published in 1785. Here's the score I created in Dorico 5. Let's focus on the first eight measures. The cello part has an ostinato 8 note rhythm and I want to show my reason for using both an AWI and a keyboard instance for each swarm string instrument. Here's the result when recording with AWI. The MIDI region is shown in the lower right corner.
What's wrong with this recording? First of all, the playing seems highly irregular, lacking a steady groove. Be aware that this is the result of picking the best of three takes. Apparently, the AVI breath controller signal does not yield accurate MIDI note-on, note-off messages. Some of these are missing completely. Inspect the velocity. This information is derived from the expression data. It is not recorded directly, as the AV keys lack pressure sensitivity. In normal mode, SWOM determines instrument dynamics and attack types from a combination of velocity and expression data. The special AV playing mode has notes and dynamics based exclusively on expression. In comparison, listen to the outcome when using the Arturia keyboard for real-time input. Again, the MIDI region information is shown. Yes, I applied some MIDI quantization and a posteriori controller lane editing, but the starting point is more favorable, less trial and error. Thus I decided on a mix of both input devices, juxtaposing AV and MIDI keyboard phrases, shown here in two different colors. As an example of expressive melodic phrase MIDI input, listen to this lead violin recorded with AV. There is still some inconsistency in the noted text with Detaché versus Legato playing, but the real-time dynamics and vibrato depth require far less editing afterwards. In the Allegro, score page 2, I've marked the steady 8-note rhythm phrases that were recorded with keyboard and cubase in step input mode. All others were recorded with AV real-time playing. Listen to the combination of a second violin and viola. And here's the lead violin later in the Allegro, another AV real-time recording, with some a posteriori editing. After recording all four string instrument parts, I edited MIDI data, including minute pitch bend fluctuations for more realism, as the strings do not play perfectly in tune all of the time. Also, I edited the tempo track in order to create more natural and musical phrasing. Here's the result.
Even when the individual instruments show some timbral and playing style deficiencies, as an ensemble they are doing fine I think. I tried to respect the score, in particular the dynamics. No duration selection obviously is part of my interpretation. The second movement from the Franz Schubert A minor string quartet written in 1824 is a light and a delicate setting with a mainly soft dynamics. The new element for the swarm instruments is the use of double stops. I played all parts on the AV, then penciled in the longer notes. Listen to this second violin phrase in isolation. And here's the full quartet. Fifty years later, Johannes Brahms finished his first string quartet, from which we quote the opening movement Allegro. The contrast with Schubert is obvious. Here we have full metal jacket romantic music, espressivo playing with outspoken dynamics and broad strokes. In the opening measures we find ostinato eighth note patterns in the lower strings, another case for keyboard step input recording. <laughs> In hindsight I think I could have done better with the extended crescendo to forte. The lead melody is this arpeggio type dotted rhythm melody, which I obviously played on AV. I concentrated on the legato versus detaché bowing technique, but since the AWI has its limitations, this required editing afterwards. Here's a typical example of a MIDI region with controller lane data. There are between 5 and 10 controllers active, the ones that were either absolutely necessary or have a prominent effect on the sound. I could have spent even more editing time and used more control parameters, but decided to skip this step for the current set of demos. On this page you'll find another series of ostinato 8th note and double stops in high strings. This also is a case for MIDI step input recording. Here's the audio rendering of this string quartet phrase.
final example is the opening of the second movement Assez vif très rythmé from the Maurice Ravel string quartet published in 1903. I chose this piece because I have been fascinated by the musical idiom since hearing it for the first time. It is from the Impressionist period and has subtle rhythmic pulsations obtained from the alternating 6-8-3-4 time signature. It also has new playing techniques, such as the pizzicato plucking sound, that I wanted to demonstrate for the swarm instruments. Here are the opening measures for the three lower strings. Later in the movement there's tremolo playing. Before recording this phrase I modified the tremolo settings in the instrument preset. In order to prevent synchronized tremolo in all strings I changed the tremolo mode to Hertz and selected a different speed for each string instrument. I could have done better by modulating the tremolo speed with the MIDI controller along the phrase. But now it's time to listen to the full quartet in this magical movement by Ravel. Let's wrap up this demonstration of the latest release of the Swamp solo string instruments. My examples cover 150 years of string quartet writing in different styles. Over the last couple of years, audio modeling have been working hard to improve the response to various controller types. The AWI performance has become more reliable, especially in melodic and expressive phrases, but I find it is still problematic for accurate control of attacks and staccato phrases. Notwithstanding the fact that I seriously practice most instruments from their woodwinds, brass and string collection. The Swamp string instruments also underwent timbre changes for the better I think. Sometimes the solo performance reveals deficiencies, but in a group setting the ensemble sound is most acceptable. When hearing these examples for the first time, most people think they are listening to real strings and respond in amazement when I demonstrate playing these virtual instruments with a wind controller. And yes, the Swam instruments have huge MIDI CC mapping potential for detailed sound control. I have two problems with that though. Firstly, most CC controllers work around a middle setting with a value 64. My AWI cannot handle those parameters. I would have to add extra controllers such as attitude sensors around my neck or foot pedals. Besides, the tedious a posteriori MIDI editing then is at the break-even point with drawing sample library articulation key switch changes. But overall I prefer these SWOM instruments over any sample library. I am a fan of the physical modeling approach and I win hands down in the case of real-time playing. The competition is fierce however, with alternatives that use a hybrid approach with scripting. But I wish Audio Modeling the best and will remain a loyal customer in support of their development efforts. If you found this video useful, give it a like and please subscribe to the channel. Follow the links in the description in case you would like to support my tutorial production efforts through a PayPal donation or as a patron. Visit the website for more content. Thanks for watching.